everybody, what's up? My name is Shannon. Today's video is another Hey guys, so I'm back with another Shop My Stash Weekly Makeup Basket. I'm going to show you guys everything I used last week and what I thought of it. Um, this foundation I only used one time and I don't see myself using it anytime soon. So I'm going to roll that one out. I have been mixing in my CC cream into this Gucci one. This Gucci one's almost out too and I've been loving it. It's very long lasting. Lasts on my oily skin. Uh, matte but not super drying. It looks really pretty on the skin. It does have like that luminous glow. Um, if you have a little bit of oily skin, it starts to look glowy but never uh, cakey or gross. Um, most of the time, I just get a little bit oily on my nose. So this one has been really good. It's been holding up through a long work day. So this is a great one for summer. I want to pick this up on the full size whenever I have a chance. And this duo skin, I think I have one or two more uses. I've been scraping at it. So I'll mostly like, I will most likely be using my Tarte Shape Tape or my uh, Dior concealer that's down here. I've really been loving this uh, gripping primer. I was talking with the patient and she also loves this one. So I love chatting about makeup with anyone and everyone who will allow me to. I'm ready for this uh, Merit. Oops, this is not it. They look similar. This Merit, um, what is this one called? Lipstick. It's like a highlighter, like in a deeper shade. I'm ready for this one to go back up it's um in the shade brulee so i'm gonna put that in my collection and then everything else can stay because i'm either project painting it or it's like an everyday essential there's a lot of eyebrow stuff this mascara is about to dry out so we'll probably pick a new mascara to try out i haven't given this style shot i'll probably have to use this with the, on camera to abh uh brow dip i ran out of my eyebrow pencil so i went ahead and opened up a brow whiz that i had in my um my back stock my uh you know uh, my backup store can i talk today i don't know i'm ready to put back a lot of these glosses and lipsticks that i've been using um been using this dior one a lot i haven't got a chance to use this buxom one in a minute and i have been loving using this uh, patrick tall she's expensive gloss I tried out this one today and it's super pretty. I'll throw up a picture of me wearing it. It's the Powder Kiss Formula. Super nice blurring look of lipstick. Um, very comfortable. It's in the shade over the taupe and it's not too dark of a shade. It's very rose uh, tone color. So if you like those rosy lips, this is a very, very pretty one. I will leave this one and the, MAC, the other MAC one to try out. I'm going to put back this other Chanel gloss. I love this darker lip in. I need to use that. And then a lot of the lip liners are pretty much the same. Um, we'll put this NARS one back. I'm ready to put back all the pretty lip glosses that we've been using. And then there's a lot more room to use some other lippies. And then we will talk cheeks. I'm ready to put back this Everyday Pink. Um, Alice in Wonderland and ColourPop. Such a pretty um, packaging and formula i like that blush and then i'm ready to put back this everyday pink by tower 28 i'll leave the the rose ink one it's a nudie color so pretty i used this duo one for the first time today and it is stunning uh i like this better than the old formula I hate to say it so i can't wait to run out of my pink one and repurchase it in the new formula because it's a very thin uh buildable nice uh it doesn't do that weird thing where it goes on light and then all of a sudden turns color changes into like a clown cheek so this is a really really good one in rosewood i was talking to my friend on instagram about it and she also loves all the blushes due to me influencing her so sorry amanda and um i have this uh charlotte tilbury not charlotte tilbury chanel bronzer back there that i'm working on in project pan project pan powder by dior then we have this blush i fell in love with this gucci blush in this uh very light pink shade it's in the shade true pink 07 such a pretty color love the formula i love this blush uh, actually more than the dior one i wore this one like four or five times this week and i will leave it in to keep wearing it such a nice uh beautiful airbrushed like uh blurring type of blush formula i imagine the Too faced cloud whatever 
um, blushes would be like this. I haven't tried the Too Faced ones, but I think that is what their formula would be like. This is obviously, I think, way more expensive, but you get the luxury packaging. Love it. So keep it in my Gucci blush. This other cute pink compact, um, I really like this natural chocolate bronzer in the shade Caramel Cocoa. It's kind of glittery, so I like to, you know, buff over it and stuff. But I always buff over my makeup with the um, powder as a lash as a last finishing step but this uh Too Faced bronzer is super super pretty um a little goes a long way and yeah i just like to really buff it in make sure their glitters aren't really there because i don't want to look too glowy but yeah this is a nice shade i really really enjoyed this product so i'm going to keep that in to get more use and then i really haven't been touching my creams which i really need to do and then highlight been loving obviously uh project pan bronzer and then i love this powder i'm almost out gonna repurchase so um let me show you some new makeup items that we'll be using and then we'll shop the stash um before we shop the stash let me uh, mention the eye looks that i did i used the new natasha denona yuka palette any eye looks i uh did i will throw them up on the screen i haven't used too many shades of the palette just because i've been working i mostly use this gucci blush on my eyes because it's a eye and cheek product um so yeah that's what i've been doing and then today i wore the dior one on my cheeks which was a really really pretty look so i used that one in rosewood on my cheeks today so um yeah let's go through the new makeup items and then we will shop the sash for all this time don't forget to like and subscribe. I do post these videos every single week on my channel. I haven't been uh, able to use this YSL one, which I already know I like, but I will try to use it tomorrow. It's just I've really been focusing on this NYX Plump It Back Up since it's in a project pan. But since I got decent progress on it, I will go ahead and use this YSL one. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely purchasing that NYX one again and get it on a good sale because it is chef's kiss. Next up is the All Hours Foundation. I ordered it when uh, YSL was having a 25% discount, which is more than I'll ever get at Sephora off. So I went ahead and picked it up on there. But my doggo got into my package. As you guys can see, he destroyed it. Um, I didn't know what shade I was going to be just because the sample that I tried of it um, wasn't obviously my shade, but I made it work. So I'm hoping this is not too light or too dark. I don't know. In the frosted bottle, it's hard to tell. On camera, it's coming off a lot lighter, but in person, it looks a lot more brown beige. Um, so yeah, I really, really, I fell in love with the formula. And um, yeah, like it takes a lot for me to like something based off a little sample card, but I really fell in love with this formula. Lightweight, long wearing, uh, buildable, high coverage. Like, oh my God, this and the Gucci have been blowing me away so yeah um high-end foundation is where it's at this is the one that, um these little bit can i talk this is one of the foundations that's been on my list to purchase um higher end ones that i've been wanting but been holding off on but i did recently finish up a foundation i won't spoil which one it was so you guys can see that in my empties and in my project pan but yeah i'm going to roll this one in um lw7 to use for the week so this will be my foundation besides a little gucci sample that i have in there and then i have some stuff that came in my walmart um, beauty box it's a subscription um that comes during each season so i did get a sample of the um, physician's formula butter bronzer it's just a baby guy very very small it's in the regular uh, bronzer shade so their original shade i believe um yeah i remember liking it um so yeah we will use that but i think i will be pulling more for my um two face one and then they did uh send a gloss so I got this gloss in that box as well and this is also on my list to try but i was waiting for it to go on sale before i purchase it it is the covergirl clean fresh yummy gloss such a pretty color it's like a corally pinky cute shade and it's in the shade uh, sugar poppy so it's that cute poppy color love the girly packaging this is such a pretty product i haven't tried it on my lips yet but i hope that it's going to be a good one and i assume it's going to smell really sweet we will see and yeah that'll be in my lip category so i can have you know something to put on my lips and um now i think it is time to shop the stash so let's get into it 
for powder, I did want to mention that I have a Laura Mercier Mini in there that I'm using to set my under eyes. So no powder, no bronzer. We got the foundation primer, um, concealer situation sorted. We got bronzer, blush. So let's go ahead and move straight into lips. And we are still using our um, palette by Natasha Denona. Okay, so here is the lip drawer. I did add in these um, cardboard boxes. Um, I work at a optometrist office, so I just got like an empty eyeglass case. And this is where I'm putting the um, lipsticks that I use and the lip glosses that I use so we can rotate through them. But um, yeah, lipstick, I don't think I want to pull anything. Um, I have in a Gucci one that I really need to use. And then these are just glosses. I think I want to go through some of these and declutter them because i'm not in love with everything that i own i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these essence ones um i will give them to the kids to play with make them for more stuff that i um love and use more often um so yeah let's get rid of hmm, this tower 28 one needs to get used maybe we'll pull that next time um i'll just go ahead and pull it now let's pull the tower 28 one and try to get used it once or twice or however many times my heart desires and we have a lot more room in this drawer and i think these are my higher end ones that i don't want to get rid of we have a nyx one i'll keep this one see if i can use it up eventually and then we have a tower 28 one over here um i think i'll get rid of this rimmel one too it's not my favorite so we can get rid of that one um but yeah i will use this tower 28 keep one um this one and get some use on my tar 28 ones and then that leaves a lot of room for my higher end glosses in here and we will try to get some use on those as well i'm seeing those over here on this side so we have a lot more room in there and i'll pop my old glosses and lipsticks that i already used in here that looks so much better love it Okay, so everything is in the drawers. I think next week I will let my daughter choose my makeup. I think she'll choose one um, item from each category. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and like and subscribe. Stay tuned for next week's video and I will give you reviews. Oops, we forgot to choose a mascara. Let's go do that. Okay, so we have brow stuff over here and then eye stuff over here. Um, we have this new, sorry, this is an empty box. We have this new CoverGirl one. Um, I'll try out this Simply Ageless Lash Plumpy Mascara. I got it in a Walmart box a few months ago and I haven't tried it out. And then I want to break into these and start trying these out. But let's try out this one first and see how that goes. And um, yeah, sorry my brain is very ADD right now. Um, I hope you guys will um, subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.